2023 has been both an amazing year for virtual reality for the content we've been getting an even better year for oculus metaquest but also a reminder that vr isn't all there yet as a firm believer of the tech a lot of other tech behemoths like pico microsoft and sony are less ecstatic about the growth of vr but at the same time puts emphasis that just delivering hardware and not software to accompany the hardware is a terrible move people want to have a reason why they should pick up a headset other than just being excited to replay a vr mode of an existing game or getting a great sale because the headsets are selling at really low quantities a key part as well is companies expected a return sooner than having a longer term plan and vision for the success of vr mixed reality and augmented reality it's like the stadia situation where expectations are too high i've heard people say out of every gaming streaming service whether that's x cloud geforce or shadow pc that stadia was by far the best service every other company that is not meta or apple isn't so ecstatic about the prospect of having to fund said VR projects. A lot of this news, everyone saw the writing on the wall, but now with official statements that other than Meta, no one is really excited about dumping billions of dollars into the roadmap and development of VR technology. Meta's overall plan is to take as much market share as these companies fail to realize that unless you're an Apple with an already huge established user base and unless you deliver a great value as what meta does already it will be harder to pick up and try to compete in the sector as it continues to improve also with the fact that meta's roadmap is 10 years long in advance to make the technology a crucial part of people's lives all right so part one windows from upload vr the same people that gave the game what the bat vr game of the year yes you heard that right reported that microsoft is killing windows mixed reality and discontinuing support for consumers on november November 1st 2026 and for commercial on November 1st 2027. I saw this coming because at MetaConnect 2022 which saw the reveal of the Quest Pro Satya the CEO of Microsoft was there to support Meta's metaverse vision. This is the most we've seen Microsoft higher-ups talk regarding VR other than Phil Spencer saying it's still a niche and not worth tackling on yet. There are two options so the platform doesn't get annihilated entirely. It's turning to open source or installing the drivers and not updating when Microsoft removes the windows mixed reality app from the microsoft store it's wild when i almost pulled the trigger on a g2 reverb when they were 2.99 at their lowest if you don't update you will be fine but it's an end of an era but at the same time we never saw microsoft actually like carmack said give a damn about building up the technology as soon as quest rolled around the block that was pretty much where the effort lies at now as a quest user that doesn't affect me but it's one of, but it's one less competitor and competition is good so that a company like meta doesn't get complacent and the vision pro is evident of that with the timing of the quest 3 all right with pico a subsidiary of ByteDance, meta's social media rival ByteDance, the same company that owns tiktok set up pico to directly compete with quest but without the vision no pun intended now they have reportedly pivoted to compete with vision pro which only apple can compete with apple at a 3500 price tag meaning less emphasis of bringing vr content like games and more on the headset a company your laptop pc or replacing it this comes at a time where pico laid off hundreds of staff pico was supposed to rival quest and eventually come to the states to compete and ultimately it never came some reports were because of tiktok's relationship to the ccp and spying and what happened to huawei they didn't want to get on the hot seat immediately after their ceo of tiktok went in front of congress weird and messy ordeal timing was a big part if you remember pico 4 was going to get a just dance exclusive game from Ubisoft but ever since then the project has been handed to a new partner pretty sure Pico will stay but not be toe-to-toe -to -toe competing with Meta anymore personally this is dumb to compete with the Vision Pro as that headset serves a whole demographic entirely people that buy the Vision Pro are buying it because it's a head mounted display that is an Apple product but now PSVR 2 at reveal and launch of PSVR 2 it was an exciting prospect of a major player with a successful catalog of accredited games like God of War ghost of sushi and last of us to bring those titles to vr with an oled screen and pc vr like visuals without driving pc like types of money however selling a vr headset as an accessory with a higher price than the console it's set up to disappoint especially when you could get a better value with quest 2 or 3 while being standalone and not requiring a console you can also silo an entire vr movies use the browser or connect it to your pc vr is much more than just gaming and i 
really do feel as Sony put themselves in a corner just catering to gaming alone. But a major part is that although Sony released a $550 VR headset, it has mediocre titles accompanying it. And if you're a sim racing guy, Gran Turismo 7 is supposedly the killer app. I really think once PSVR users escape the honeymoon of how great and amazing VR is, the flaws will start to show and the platform is more of a side gig for Sony. PSVR 2 is not going anywhere, but the expectations were too high initially. It's crazy to me that they have not brought entire games of their lineup exclusives like The Last of Us, God of War, or Spider-Man. That alone would make me buy the headset. Instead, I got a new phone. And where you get Horizon Climb of the Mountain, which is not bad, but mediocre when you get titles like Asgard's Wrath 2 that are entire games rather than just moments. It's funny that Meta one up Sony in the VR gaming side of things. Sony was hailed to be the savior of that. And where Sony is in first place in the console wars with Xbox, in VR, Meta has the bargaining rights when it comes to getting exclusives. And I see a lot of PSVR 2 users complain about why games are exclusive or why they come to Meta only. And it's a taste of your own medicine. VR and AR is in a way better spot, but it resembles what it was three years ago. Meta continues to dominate. Sony, Microsoft, and Pico are less ecstatic now than they were at the launch of their headsets. Less competition is bad, but in my opinion, they never competed with Meta in the first place and hope to cash out if it happened that VR and AR went completely mainstream. In 2023, where AI took off before VR, it shows that the industry is not entirely there yet. There are still growing pains and a roadmap by Meta, the industry leader, to try and show that the tech is viable and they are setting their entire business over this one technology. Microsoft is a case of leaving your platform to focus on another. Pico is the case of not making your headset available in the US and try bringing good content to make people actually pick your headset over a Quest 2 or 3. Sony is a weird one because they have the studios but none of the effort and are disappointed when sales and interest remain good but low. Closing 2020 a lot of this was written on the wall, but not with official statements and lack of content. Meta is still the go-to for VR, AR, Metaverse, spatial computing, Web3, whatever you want to call it. And hopefully the platform keeps evolving on Quest. I will most likely stay on the platform since I've spent so much money. And hopefully we see other companies actually try and compete rather than be surprised when the lack of content or support is the reason why people opt to not buy your headset and buy a meta headset instead. And yeah, that's all I wanted to share my thoughts and leave a comment about what your take is on all this. I'm interested to hear your opinion like mine. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe and until the next video. Bye.